Hello investors, I'm Jerry Roman coming at you from beautiful Barbados and today's video is all about a stock that I believe will double in value and when it doubles, it will still be undervalued. The last time I saw a stock like this was Mesa Air and that one was an easy double bagger and I think this one could even be bigger. Today's video is brought to you by Webull, where you get two free stocks worth up to $1,850 just for signing up and funding your account with $100. Be sure to use the link down below and be sure to like and subscribe to the page and then grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. Let's kick things off with a success story from Edgar Komen. Up $3,700 today, portfolio is 95% Jerry's Hot Stonks. Our hot stocks are on fire, and if you want to take your investing to the next level, join my Patreon for daily hot stocks, trade alerts, to model my high growth portfolios, and to be part of a Discord where we have thousands of active investors. Our play today is Ontario Resources, stock ticker AR, and this stock has been on fire. They are an independent oil and natural gas company engaged in the acquisition, development, and production of unconventional oil and liquid rich natural gas properties, primarily located in the Appalachian Basin in West Virginia, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. In the last year, they are up a whopping 853% and it is still undervalued and I'm going to show you why in just a minute. This is an oil play that I think is a no-brainer. This year, oil is already up about 30% over what the analysts were expecting and the world economies are just starting to get back on track. If you look at the graph of world liquid fuels production, you'll see world consumption bottomed out at 85 million barrels per day and you can see the estimate estimated consumption and production are rising steadily. This all comes down to supply and demand and I think we can all agree that the demand for oil is going to increase as the world gets back on track. Right now, most of the world's cruising companies are not yet running, but they are expected to in the near future. Have you ever wondered how much it costs to fuel a cruise ship on a daily basis? A smaller sized cruise ship like the Norwegian Spirit costs about 80 grand per day on fuel. A larger cruise ship like Freedom of the Seas can cost up to $2 million per day to fuel. The cost to fuel a cruise ship varies by size and the speed that the ship is going. Now let's take a look at jet oil consumption. The U.S. Energy Information Administration shows that back in August, the airlines were consuming only 43% of what they were one year prior. In looking at this graph, I think it's pretty easy to see that worldwide jet fuel is down about 50% from pre-pandemic usage. I'm just trying to have a little bit of fun and show you that I'm expecting oil demand will definitely be increasing considerably. Obviously, jets and cruise ships are a small part of the worldwide demand, but I thought it was still some cool information and I wanted to share it. And so far, we've not even gotten to the good stuff on Ontario Reef Resources. The article Ontario Resources Corporation on the verge of breaking even stated Ontario Resources is bordering on break even. According to the five American oil and gas analysts, they expect the company to post a final loss in 2020 before turning a U.S. $188 million in 2021. Therefore, the company is expected to break even roughly a year from now or less. We calculated the rate at which the company must grow to meet the consensus forecast, predicting break even within 12 months. It turns out an average annual growth rate of one 123% is expected. And if oil prices or demand rises more than expected, AR could be profitable even sooner. Now let's check out the Beast Mode AR scorecard. The first thing we notice is the stock performance has been insane in the last year and it's up 860%. Not only that, they have expected revenue growth of 37%, which is impressive for a company with a $3.2 billion cap. And now let's take a quick look at the charts. We're now looking at the one year chart on AR, which is Antero Resources. And we can see that the current price is 1024. A year ago, it was trading at a low of 64 cents on the dollar. And let's go ahead and take a look at the six month chart, which is how I like to look at most of the charts. And we can see that they've been in a really nice upward trend. The blue line here is our 20 day moving average. The red is the 50 and the white is the 200. And this is what I call the railroad tracks. And that's formed whenever there's a gap between the 20 and the 50 day moving average. It's very common for stocks to trade in an upward trend right at or above that 20 day moving average. And if they go up too much, we call that too much too fast. And they always come back to that 20 day moving average. And right now we're kind of in that zone right here. So I wouldn't be surprised if it goes up or if it comes back before going up. But any way you cut it, I think this stock is a great, great value play. And we also look at the MACD and the PMC and we can tell that it's been in a good position on the PMC over the zero line for several months now. And the MACD mirrors that as well. All things are looking good on this stock. Definitely one that I really love and I do expect this stock to double. 
I love this play right now and think it is a steal, but it gets even better. Right now, the stock is trading at less than one half of their book value. AR's book value is currently $21.47 and the current price is less than one half of that. I think this stock is an absolute steal at the current price. The last time I was this excited about an undervalued stock was Mesa Air when we bought that stock for less than one half of the book value and shortly thereafter, the stock doubled and we doubled our money. In fact, Mesa is still going up and making us money. If you're looking to play this stock, buy now and plan on holding it for a year. If you have this stock at $10 or $10.50 and the stock price goes down, then take advantage and buy more to bring your cost basis down. Be sure to keep an eye on their earnings reports, which should continue to get better and better as the year progresses. Now for an update on two more stocks that I expect to double this year. NEO is currently trading at $45 and I love this stock in this price range. NEO has been beaten down 25% in the last month and we were waiting for it to bounce back before buying more and that's exactly what's happening now. I know the EV stocks have been hit hard lately and there are concerns concerns about the semiconductor shortage, but I'm telling you, I expect NEO to hit $80 this year. And I expect that it will hit $60 in the near future. Next, we've got PLNHF, and this is Planet 13, which is an MJ stock. I'm big on the entire MJ sector, and we never want to catch a falling knife, which is why we wait for the stock to bottom out and bounce back and continue that uptrend. Planet 13 dropped all the way down to $5.43, and it is now coming back and already at $6.45 and about to cross the 20-day moving average. Because I believe in the MJ stocks, I see this as a bottom fishing value play, and you can buy it now or wait for confirmation of a MACD crossover and the PMC crossing the zero line. If you look at the MACD, you'll notice we are out of the deep red and the pink shows us that we are coming back up and moving in the right direction. Up next, we've got the question of the day, which is what is book value and why is it so important? The book value of a company is the total value of the company's assets minus the company's outstanding liabilities. That's the official definition for book value, but I think there's an easy way to remember it. And that is look at book value as how much money you would have left over if a company went into bankruptcy and you had to liquidate the company's assets. I want you guys to learn and study both fundamental and technical analysis because this is how you you become a better investor. Most companies trade at a price way above their book value. For example, Tesla is currently trading at $700 and their book value is only $23 per share. That means if Tesla filed for bankruptcy, you were screwed and their total book value is just 3% of their stock share price. Now let's take a look at Ontario Resources. They are trading at $10 and their book value is over $21. This means if they filed bankruptcy and had to liquidate their assets, there would be a surplus of money and as shareholders, we would actually profit. Ontario Resources is a value investor and Warren Buffett type of stock because we can buy it for less than one half of the book value. I hope this was helpful information. If you have questions, drop them down below and I'll answer them in the next video. If you enjoyed today's video, like and subscribe to this one so you don't miss the next one. And be sure to check out my Patreon if you want to take your investing to the next level. Peace and I'll see you soon.